Hi. Hi, Professor. How's going? Ah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I was muted. I, everything I was can, said, but the, I can see you. Can you hear me? Yes, excellent. Uh, how's going? How are you? It's good. Very, very hot in, in Europe at the moment, right? So, oh yeah. Uh, here um, in Hong Kong, it's very hot too. So uh, yeah, but, it, but you're used to it, right? So <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 can we start? Yes, of course, please. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Peter, and I'm from Quanta Foundation. So uh, this is our website. Uh, we are mm -hmm. doing this five, and we are group of professional and professor and student. So it is a self-financed community to sponsor the student for doing the WIS five development. So this is mm -hmm. uh, our our plan. Uh, we are in here to develop our uh, WIS five CPU. And we got a lot of different projects. Let me introduce you one by one. The first one is the assembler project. The assembler project is the Wispy assembler. We, uh, <clears throat> the reason we are doing the system level software is that we want to make ourselves more control on the uh, system layer. So the assembler will be our is is our first completed project. So you can take a look at the source code, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, quite mature. Uh, Almost all the software except the CPU are done in Java. So it is a very popular software stack. So everyone is very easy to pick up our code to join. All of our projects are open source. So low commercial project in here. Uh, all the source code is 100% uh, open to everybody. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got different projects. We got the uh, ELF project to analyze the ELF binary. We got the, uh, <coughs> we got the, uh, Away from library, the compiler plugin, and all different things. So, uh, uh, let me tell you something about my history. I, 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 I have twenty years in coding experience. So, uh, mm -hmm. my primary interest is the uh, system level thing. So, you can, if you take a look at my personal blog, you can see uh, I have developed a very mature debugger for Intel. Now we are porting it to the WIS file. So you can see uh, we can view the register, we can view the memory uh, structure, uh, etc. And it is quite mature. For example, we can record all the functions in the CPU. So it is the batch tracing software. So uh, as you can see in the table, if you are doing the operating system development, uh, sometimes you need to trace back for 1000 system call. And then this fun, uh, we got a debugger in here. Now we are porting it to WIS5. After we porting it to WIS5, uh, we want to uh, send to all university to let the professor to teach their student to form a bigger community. Uh, when I read your LinkedIn info, so we know you are from the WIS5 Education Special Interest Group, is it correct? Yeah, of course, yeah, I worked in there. I'm not the chair anymore, but I have been until Okay, um, okay. Uh, let me, and uh, we are acti actively developing our IDE, we call the lab being IDE. So mm -hmm. let me That's huh? interesting. Eh? I saw it on the website, yeah, it's interesting. Okay, let yeah. me, let me, let me uh, uh, want, want it and show you the example. <clears throat> so let me, let me, it is running, wait a second. So my, my map is not very fast, so wait a second. Okay, this is the IDE we built on top of the lab bin. So the people can, uh, using the lab bin to create the assembly project, to write the assembly, and then compile it to the machine code, and then start the uh, simulator. So mm -hmm. it, is, it is starting. So in here, you can create the project, so we got the wish file project in here. And then for example, mm -hmm. hello, Germany, oh, not here. Yes. Next one, yeah. <laughs> and then a time in the land. And then it got the example in here. And it is compiled by our simulator, our assembler. So if you right click and build it, and then it is using our assembler to compile the project. And then you got the target file, the listing files, in the in the target folder somewhere. So this is the IDE. And then uh, we got our own simulator. 
So is this also the reason? Sorry, is this also the reason you like create the assembler from scratch in Java, etc., that you can have everything in one UI, like in Wired and IDE, without external tools, etc.? Yeah, it's it's okay uh, because they uh, we we create the assembler from scratch. The yeah. assembler can run from command line, but we build the IDE for people for people to easier for cook them. Mm -hmm. So you just download the NetBeans IDE and then you have everything in it, the tools, etc. Okay. Yes, correct. So uh, I'm running the assembler. I'm running the simulator. So the simulator has. Oh wait a second. Let me let me close this first. Okay, this is our simulator. So you can single step and you can view the register in here. You can you can dump the memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it X? Something like this. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, I forget the command. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, I, yeah, I think it's X, right? Yeah. That's the GDB okay, syntax, right? Okay. So, so. So uh, we got the assembler uh, simulator. So our tool chain is quite quite complete. And mm -hmm. now, now we, we want to make it more advanced. For example, mm -hmm. we want to design a new executable specification. Because you know, in the yeah, in the Linux world, we are using this specification. This says this specification, the, the debug format. And we 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 have our own library to read out all the information from the from the uh, DWL app specification, but we found this specification is too heavy, especially too yeah. too heavy, too heavy for which five. So we we want to trim down it to make it more performance and fit for which five. So that's why we are asking you. To, to be our advisor for for the for the project so uh, uh, if you can see in our debugger in here so we we got the tools to thumb out the debug format for example this one so you can see to thumb out all the DWARF uh, specification in here so I can tell is we we are very good on doing system programming from scratch. Mm -hmm not relying on every other tools, just using our our tools to to doing this. So we 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 want to make something at once is to we decide this debug format to fit for mm -hmm. which file. So this is our short term short term goal for that. So what mm -hmm. do you think? So yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, just for the motivational background, this is like would you say it's mainly an educational project or is it uh, more like a open source commercially viable thing that you want to to have in the end. Uh, so far, it is just a hobby project. It's just mm -hmm. a hobby open source project. We okay. don't have plan, we don't have plan to be commercial project, but I don't mind if somebody pay me some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah. I just want like it's a little bit like a different focus, right? If you do it as a hobby, <laughs> it's different. And if you have to earn money with it, you. Yeah, there's, there's different timelines, different pressure from time to time, and uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's cool, awesome. And yeah, I like it. I like the idea. Like, it's a lot of projects. Like, I was like, when I opened it, because I already look at the website, etc. Right? Uh, I was very like surprised. Like this, like it's just everything, right? <laughs> it's yeah, uh, yeah. like the entire stack, and yeah, I like the idea. Um, so, so, so I, I really like the idea of having everything self-contained, right? I think that's better than scatter tools if you're learning and if you're building something, um, I think that's, that's nice. Yes, Interesting. it is self-contained, yeah. Uh, everything is for doing from scratch. Uh, it's not relying on another tool. So it is very independent. Everything we build is very, very independent mm -hmm. from the bottom of the computer world. So, yeah, uh, so because of this, so we believe it is very good for teaching, especially yeah. teaching the student in, in the university. Because mm -hmm. if you if you teach the teach a student, you usually want to teach from the bottom, right? Not relying on any other things. Then you can teach the whole architecture very clearly. So this is mm -hmm. our objective. So we build the tools is helping the university to teach their student more easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I really like it. Yeah. So how can I help you? <laughs> uh, I want to grab. 
some professor into my group and we when we decide the specification to give some comment on uh, on it and it, mm -hmm. it is already very very helpful because mm -hmm. We don't have a very strong academic background. I, I'm a PhD student from RMIT University. So mm -hmm. RMIT is from Australia. So I'm not very strong in academic. So if somebody from academic can give me some idea or comment, it will be very, very, very valuable to us. Yeah, that's something I can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so the, my main like question is like how much time you expect from me? I assume it's not too much, right? Like not not, much, not, not the not daily. Much. Okay. So when we, yeah, when we decide something, we will send out the email. So when you read it, you may you can give comment or or if you mm -hmm. don't have comment, you then you can leave it. So it is very casual, and mm -hmm. and because of because of this, uh, I think it will not draw you a lot of time. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so like it, it just like it's okay to have a regular meeting, but it shouldn't be like every day. <laughs> yeah, it is not every day. Not, not that heavy because I got a full time job. I need yeah, to okay. <laughs> so this is the hobby project. So, so oh, my it's, time really like time, so, so you time, you just do it on the side. Okay, that's interesting. I assumed yeah. you like you have some freelance or something, but you have a normal day job and then you do it whenever you have time. That's interesting. Yes. Maybe yeah, I'm happy. Can. I'm happy to help you wherever I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, yeah. from from now from today, uh, if you don't mind, if we have progress, we will update you in the email. So, if yes. you decide that something, we update you in the email. If you have, have comment, so please comment. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah. don't mind any comment. So, if you if you just say, "Oh, this is not a good design," you just say it is bad design. We don't we, yeah. we 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 want a very strict comment. It's okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm good at this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm usually pretty open. Yeah, because I got, I got some question. I want to ask you? Can I ask you now? Yeah, please. So I, I'm very interested to know more about the education special interest group from WIS five. So what what mm -hmm. what is it about? Uh, it has many issues. Like so, generally, like the idea is that everyone comes together and we share teaching material and we discuss like how we can help help people getting educated but the problem is like so for example i'm also in the board of directors of risk five right and this like it doesn't take up much time uh it's like a monthly re meeting but it like it already eats a lot of my time right and I have my my professor staff and i have other staff so i have to be careful and that's why i um i, I got i asked someone else to to lead the group his hands is just like uh, like meeting every two weeks there's presentations every now and then this is definitely something where you should present your IDE too, right? Um, but to be like the problem, like in academia, you know, like everyone is pretty open-minded, right? So it's yeah. very hard to get everyone to agree on, let's do this, and this is the right thing to do now, right? Because everyone is like, yeah, no, I want to do it differently. And like, so there's a lot of discussion usually, but not much output, to be honest. <laughs> that's okay, um, okay. that's an academic know. problem, maybe, yeah. And, and whenever, like, you know, when, when companies show up at those meetings, they just want to sell something, right? They believe, like, they have the best tools in the world, and they think every university should use them, and then you tell them, yeah, but they are not for free. They will tell you, like, oh, you can get some some trial versions, and, like, yeah, no, I don't care about trial versions. I want something that I can use in teaching freely, right? I, I, I want to teach properly, but I don't want to teach on any specific product, usually. Um, so this is the kind of discussion. So there's definitely something that you might be interested to show up and present your IDE, present your project overall. Um, I'm, I'm happy to set you up with, with a group and then do a presentation there. I think that's a good idea. Um, oh, yeah. That's what I would also encourage you to do, um, but where I would suggest to maybe we can work together, um, um, create like a clear vision, etc. Um, to apply to present at the Risk Five Summit this year, like this is in December, right? Um, um, this could be like a good venue, like to meet people, to present your project, to get people involved. This is something that I um, I did previously too, and where I got a lot of people interested in my projects, right? Um, it's not paying, like it's not like when you go there, you have a hundred new contributors, right? But it's a good, uh, like everyone is there, right? You can network. Um, and if you can like have a clear vision what your project is, where it's going, 
um, how it might be of interest to companies to etc. Um, I think this is something like I would encourage you to submit uh, a talk there, a presentation. Um, yeah, yeah, that's so, we will we will do it. Is it December, right? Yeah, it's like I think fifteenth, around fifteenth of December. Okay. Like, um, yeah, it's pretty late. Like, like for for Europeans, like this is usually already Christmas time, right? <laughs> okay, I got one. I got one question. Is that so? Uh, because we are doing the IDE and it is completely free for every university. So after mm -hmm. we finish, maybe two two months later, is there any mm -hmm. way to ask which five community to help us to promote to the university? Is there any way for doing that? Yes. Yeah, so there's two things. Like the one is you go to the special interest group. You do a presentation there, you send it to the list, there's a, a, a mailing list. There's like several hundreds of subscribers, right? They don't show up to the meetings. The meetings are usually just 10 people, but there's like, I think 400 subscribers to the mailing list. Um, you can advertise it there. Maybe when you did the release, right? Like write a nice blog post, maybe a small YouTube, YouTube video or something, or, um, or like you go to the special interest group meeting, you present it there, use the recording, put it on YouTube create a blog post, put it on the mailing list. Like, th I think this is a good way to get people, um, like give them a good overview of where you are. Um, and the other thing is there's like the, like there's something on the risk five website. I think it's, I've always, forget, like they always change names, um, but like essentially all the members can present there, like can put up stuff there. Um, like there's a news section. I think it's possible to get something in there if you're an open source project. Um, I have to work this out. Um, so there's like a marketing machine in Risk Five, right? So like um, the like only members, of course, usually can do commercial stuff on this platform. Um, but if you have an open source project, I think they are happy to share it there. Like like not like every update, but if you have like a new release, some very fancy features, something to show off, like that's a good chance. Like using this, I think it's like something like the block. I think it is. Yeah, you can create a blog post. Um, you can always join as an individual, and then you can. I think you have to write to do it too. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I will try. I will yeah. try it. Yeah. Oh, like as your like you're a proper foundation, right? You can also join as a foundation free of charge. Um, I think which uh, it makes sense anyhow because it creates visibility by itself, right? It gets your logo on the. Um, I think there's a special section about. Um, like non-profit members, etc. Um, like being one of those, I think makes sense. Like uh, yeah, it's called community organization members. Um, like yeah. becoming one of those, I think is free of charge. Um, I can double check. I can I can make the connection with the people that run this. And and once you are there, you can easily like I think create a blog post. I think this gives you the best visibility. Like those two things. Like go to the SIG, create a blog post. Uh, get the blog post on the risk five website and then come to the summit present it there i think is the best way to get some traction right um mm -hmm. yeah as you know like there's a lot of stuff going on like this like it's uh, it's very hard to get people like attracted to your project yeah but i think it's it's possible oh yeah so it is a very valuable information so thank you very much for telling us yeah i'm happy to like that's what an advisor is for right <laughs> So, Melo, which city you are in? Munich. Munich, oh. Yeah. Oh, the great, there is a very famous football team from Munich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bayern Munich. Like, yeah, Bayern Munich, yeah. <laughs> My father lost yeah. a lot of money by this team. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hong Kong people are very love Bayern Munich, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they know, like, they're very popular. Um, but I'm not from Munich, so I'm not a fan. <laughs> I just moved here. Okay, so so you got a full time job in University of Munich, right? Yeah, I'm a professor there. Like um, yeah. in Germany, you're always tenured, so you always have a lifetime position. Like you, uh, you're appointed by the government, and then you're a professor for a lifetime. Yeah, um, great. It is it is very great. So, yeah. uh, uh, thank you very much for helping us. And yeah, of course. I'm we, happy def to have we, definitely, we definitely will keep in touch with you. Thank you. And, and thank you very much for the information. That yeah, thanks for your time and showing me. Like it's it's really interesting. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah.
And yeah, uh, I, our, our I'm happy to help at the end. Yeah. Sorry? Our, our project is quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, fine. I, I showed it to some people and they were like, oh, that's a lot of projects. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I, like, if you have no pressure, like, it's fun, right? That's the main part. Right? When it's fun, it's good. <laughs> okay. So uh, we keep in touch and yeah. uh, we contact you by email. And hopefully, yeah, we, we don't dis we don't very disturbing you. And thank you very much for being our advisor. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Can I have so, good evening. Sorry for yeah. the late time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Um, you are gentlemen. So uh, we keep in touch and yes. see you next time. Thanks a lot. Okay. Have bye a good bye. weekend. Bye. 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 -bye. bye, -bye.